everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I've got part 8 on how to make a Discord chatbot. And in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a small problem which you may have actually not even noticed yet. Now, someone brought this to my attention um, not too long ago, and I'll show you what it does um, just here. So you can see I've been messing around with the bot. Um, you can see I've triggered help, and then it responded how it should with the help command. But I triggered help again, except I put a parameter in this time, which obviously you're not you're not meant to, um, but I did, and it says invalid command. Now, obviously it is invalid because this shouldn't be here, but we did type help, so we would want help to trigger, or at least tell you this shouldn't be there. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little way of overcoming it, and it's the same with test. Test is my only double command, but I did it without putting the parameter in, and it tells me that it's invalid. When technically it really is an invalid, but we just didn't enter it right. So uh, what we're going to do is go into our code and uh, fix this. Now I'm going to show you a way which is kind of, it's not the right way to fix it. Um, I mean, if we wanted to completely redesign the bot, that's the way to go. You'd have to redesign the way it works. But I don't want to go over all that again and have you rewrite it all again. So I come up with this little way. Um, to solve it. So we'll go up to the top and we're going to create two arrays, one for the single command, just like that, and then one for the doubles commands, just like that. So what we're going to fill this up with, and I need to put the equals in just there, we're going to put all the double commands inside this array and all the singles inside here. Now for doubles we only have test um, but obviously if this is your real bot any command that requires a parameter put the command name here uh, just like that and then also for the single ones we've got help um, we've got let's say we've got joke we've also got info and that'll do I'm not going to put them all in but for your actual bot you want to put every single command in the single or doubles in the correct one so then you've got your two arrays like that so what we're going to do is, when a command is triggered, we want to essentially check the opposite array to check if if it was the wrong one uh, was called. So what I mean by this, because it is a little bit confusing, what we do is we check if the message contains a space or not to determine if it's going to be a double one or a single one. So if it does contain uh, a space, we're assuming that it's a double command. So what we want to do is check the single command array. So we want to check if that contains the command. And then if it does, then we know that they've entered a single command in the double area, if that makes sense to you. So if they have done that, we just want to send back to them a uh, channel, uh, or is it message? dot channel dot send message we want to send back to them something like um, this command doesn't require a parameter just like that and then obviously you'd have your else statement if it didn't contain it you'd put the rest of the select case uh, just in there like that and then obviously for if it's a single command we'll have the same but this time we'll want to check if the doubles contains it if it contains the command and we'll say I've, I'm so used to typing in a different language now I'm typing curly brackets um, it's just the same we'll await we'll say message dot channel dot send message this time this one this command requires a parameter now I've even confused myself with this I might have actually got it around the wrong way but all we want to do is select this full case and put that one in there just like that now if we launch this up I've possibly got that around the wrong way um, but we'll soon find out so what we'll do is if I type test now This command, yeah, so you can see this command, well, I, I need an S, but this command requires a parameter. So you can see if I didn't put it there, 
if I didn't put a parameter it's telling me it's a parameter instead of it's invalid but now if I do test and write something here it just replies to me how it should and then the same goes for um, the single one if I were to type help it should work how it should but if I typed help and put a parameter in this command doesn't require a parameter which it doesn't so it's not telling us invalid it's just telling us that we need to remove that if you if you want to use it so that's a simple little way to use it and while I'm at it what I'm going to do is disable this because it's actually really annoying me so um, stop debugging and wherever we have it on typing I'm just going to disable that line because it is really annoying um, but yeah that's that's all there is to it as to the fix so what we're doing is essentially checking the opposite when we when a double command is triggered we're checking the single commands to see if they entered that one and that's how it w essentially works so it's a simple little check but it, it's pretty useful I guess and it will solve the problem which some people are having so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time